Hello and welcome to my F122 driver career mode. Here today for part 12 for the Singapore Grand Prix. One of my favourite tracks on the calendar. Coming off at the back of a very, very good um, racing Monza. With a great result if you haven't seen that, go and see that before you see this if you want to. But do it sure to come back. But into qualifying then, and we were doing all right. I was finally feeling comfortable with the car. It was in Spa really, but on our second run, first run was really, really slow in the sec in the final sector, and this time we had to be held up by by a car in front, which definitely put me off. But we're still going to improve to P11 for the race tomorrow. But before we go to the race, some very, very sad news that the legend in Sebastian Vettel has decided to retire at the end of the season. But this will go to a very, very wet Singapore Grand Prix. All of you at home who join us today for this fascinating race around the baking hot but beautiful streets of Singapore. We have a high risk of a safety car here today, I think, as the abundance of tight corners mixed with these wet conditions could put a few cars off and into the barriers. 23 turns then, 13 to the left and 10 to the right make up the 3.1 mile lap of Marina Bay. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. Charles Leclerc lines up on pole position and starting next to them is George Russell. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Perez, Valtteri Bottas, and Fernando Alonso. Albert, Sainz, Vettel, and Pierre Gasly. Brown, Ricardo, Mick Schumacher, and Norris. Joe, they've taken a grid penalty. Magnussen, Lance Stroll, and Lewis Hamilton. Latifi, and Yuki Tsunoda. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? With me today, of course, is Natalie Pinkham. We should talk about Alfa Romeo. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. This is going to be full pain, it's raining, full air conditions for the entire race and it's lights out and away we go with Ferrari up top, gets away well ahead of George and now let's try and change some position shall we as we try to go round the outside into the first corner, go a little bit wide we had the spray, it was so, so hard to see, this is that second wet race I think of the season yes second after Austria as we head down now look at the gap that the Ferrari has pulled Giorgio moved to wheel with Max Verstappen as now we are going to send it to the inside of Sainz and our teammate Fernando Alonso now into the final part can we stick with um, but us unfortunately no, we had zero pace and zero grip on these tyres and we've been done by our teammate there and really but we have stayed ahead and now Alonso is coming in the threat from Carlos Sainz we've kind of pushed him out of the way Fernando and he's just about to lose out to Carlos Sainz just about stays ahead we have started for a small gap, sights around the outside on the traction. Learning for his dad in the in the, the rally, really knows his way around the wet track, and he gets past Fernando there. And it wouldn't be long before he was on the back of us through the final corner. As I mentioned a minute ago, no grip, no pace whatsoever. Those in front were. Five, six seconds of the road is down the inside. 
goes the Ferrari and there's not, there's not really much point fighting the Spaniard as now Fernando is going to combat us he's very much a quick round being into the first round though he locked his right front tyre and that was pushing me right now to turn out to the corner when I saw his right front locked up and we've actually lost out to Albon here who've got Williams first points last time out in in Monza and we sent it down the inside of the tyre driver we side by side that Williams is quick though Williams have always had a quick car in a straight line around the outside we overtake our oh, Albon nearly drop it and now we make contact with Vettel who has turned in trying to make a free wide into one corner that didn't end well at all and he has he hasn't got Albon anyway and Albon's actually got damage as he pits to put on a new front wing but we kind of got sandwich in the middle yeah I just yes to squeeze Vettel a little bit as Vettel makes a mistake then he drops it can be a bit dodgy in wet condition Vettel he's now just wheel to wheel with Pierre Gasly through the chicane we go Vettel just about staying ahead but can Gasly get the exit the spray so hard to see but Gasly around the outside of the final corner who has got the exit Vettel looks like he's just put ahead but doing down down Pierre Gasly is round the outside and now Lando and Magnussen are going wheel to wheel and but Gasly in the end has jumped with Sebastian Vettel Vettel held on for as long as he could as we have another issue with the engine we did have some more parts trying not to take engine penalties as Gasly has a bit of a wobble we have to go off the track to avoid him and now going through and onto the back straight it looks critical find somewhere to retire as soon as possible we can't risk you carrying on with this race I'm afraid it's another DR, um, DNF our third of the season that can be ticked off the list along with back here in Canada and after a lovely run of points for it he's good in every race since Silverstone we are out of the Singapore Grand Prix What a great race it's been then another classic Singapore Grand Prix and they've held on to take the chequered flag here today So, Natalie, what do you think helped them deliver this result? Well, they have a car that comes alive in the conditions that we were dealing with today. It's a very balanced package in the wet, and what that means is the drivers have confidence to attack. Having that confidence gets you on the power earlier, gets you on the brakes later, and can put you a long way up the road. Ferrari are at it again. An excellent performance at today's Grand Prix. And they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. So it's a Charles Leclerc win but to win in ways after a bit of a dodgy race in Monza. He can actually wrap up the title next time out in Japan but for us never DNF. It's really this Renault engine is crap but that's our third DNF of the season. There was a part of me, actually quite a big part of me, was kind of glad that something like that did happen because I love Singapore but it's the longest lap on the calendar. Singapore as a full wet race is the most painful thing so that side of me was quite happy but it's still a DNF we've got to get this sorted 
But anyway, if you enjoyed, I'll see you in Japan where we could have a new world champion. Goodbye.